The INFR is about history. This rodeo is about family, and family makes legacy. The Indian nations take pride in the families of generations of champions that are a part of the INFR. The legacy of the Begay family begin with a man who bought his pro card in 1983. He then went on to have successes in and out of the arena by becoming a world champion and also being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, the patriarch of the Begay family Mr. Victor Begay. Building on the hard work and values instilled at a young age from his father, this man has used those skills to go on to become a 10-time qualifier to the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo and an INFR World Champion. Please welcome team roping legend, Derek Begay. Well, he has big shoes to fill. This proud nephew and grandson is up to the task to continue down the road made by those before him. The next generation of champions has arrived in Vegas. Meet James R. Viso. Legacy start here tonight at the 2023 INFR. Let's meet the superstars of the Indian National Finals Rodeo tonight being led out by Las Vegas Golden Knights Stanley Cup World Champion, Zach Whitecloud. South Point. How about it for the superstars of the INFR? Every morning at the Indian National Finals Rodeo, we Take care of blessing our grounds in the traditional way in lieu of an invocation. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I direct your attention between the bucking chutes and welcome in our color guard tonight. We are honored to be joined in Las Vegas by a group of veterans that represent the Hickoria Apache tribe in Dulce, New Mexico. Will you please welcome, with the colors of our nation, the Hickoria Apache Veterans Group.
Ladies and gentlemen, our great nations are brought together under these flags. 574 nations under these beautiful flags. We look to the north for one flag song. We're gonna call upon none other than the Northern Cheyenne World Champion Cowboy, Mr. Philip Whiteman Jr. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to honor our brothers and sisters to the north with the Canadian Maple Leaf and the singing of O Canada, we welcome in a gentleman from Calgary, Alberta, a proud member of the Umscoffee and Pecuni. Will you please welcome Dustin Walter? Oh, Canada, our home on native land. True patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true no strong and free. From far and wide, O Canada, we stand on God for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on God for thee. 
Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. 247 years old. This song is comprised of a Navajo language. They send us a 10-year-old gal from the Pine Hill Navajo community, New Mexico, rendering us this beautiful song to honor Old Glory in the language of the Navajo. Please welcome Kylie McCurtain. Welcome to Las Vegas. How's everybody feeling on a Thursday night? That is what we love to hear. We are already in round number three of the action of the 47th Annual Indian National Finals Rodeo. Welcome to Las Vegas. My name is Kyle Tom. I'm joined by Daryl Wright here as we kick off round number three of the Indian National Finals. After two rounds, Daryl, we have seen so much great competition and we've had a whole lot of fun here in the entertainment capital of the world. That we do. We've got a lot of cowboys here tonight that are getting set to make a run at the day money. They might be out of the average right now. They might not be. But you know what? They're here. They're in the city of bright lights in Las Vegas on a Thursday. I need to hear you right now, South Point. Are you ready? 
is what we love to hear. As we welcome in Wade Cauliflower, Megan Luna, going to join us as part of the broadcast team here in Las Vegas and PBR Ride Pass on Pluto. Thank you, everyone. And as a former com uh, contestant here, this grand entry is what this rodeo is all about. It doesn't matter if it's Thursday night, Friday night. This is what gets you your blood rolling and you're ready to go win. Thank you all for having me and enjoy the show. Megan, it's going to be interesting. These guys got to go for the go round. They're out of the average. We should be seeing a lot of high scores and fast times today. We'll talk to the leaders as soon as they get done. Back to you, Kyle and Daryl. All right, thank you very much. We've got a three-man trio out here in the arena right now. They're horseback. You can see them right in front of the buck and shoot right now. How about you welcome pickup man from Ronan, Montana, Pete White. Now feast your eyes over to the timed event side. We're going to go now to Dupree, South Dakota. How about for pickup man, Riggin Mortensen. Front and center, all the way from R. Lee, Montana. How about, or sorry, from Browning, Montana. How about it for Manny Boggs? They are the Roper pickup man. It's time to get to work here in round number three in Las Vegas. Two hard go rounds get us to where we are tonight. It's the first half of the third round tonight, second half tomorrow. Let's start it off in the bareback riding. Ryan Nesbitsui of the Navajo Nation is a four-time qualifier to the Indian National Finals Rodeo. He's climbing aboard a horse from MCD Bronx tonight. They call Wonder Woman. It's inside shoot number three as we get ready to go to work with the Chin Lee Arizona Cowboy. Oh, ouch. And that ride will pretty much sum up his week here in Las Vegas at the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Tough luck for that young talent from Arizona. It's going to be a no score. Man, oh man, what a tough break right there. You're going to see these Cowboys going at it right now because you know what? A lot of money is on the line. These Cowboys are facing a task right now to set the pace. That is the name of the game right here. They get the first opportunity out right now in the third go round. Let's make the most of it right here, gentlemen. We're going to go now to Browning, Montana. Andrew Whiteman. Trixie from Incredible. Come on, cowboy. Hustle. Oh, no. The Roper pickoff man going right to work, representing that proud enough to wear pink. Andrew White, man, not going to be there for the whistle. That is going to be a no score for the Cowboy. A rough night for that talent as we keep things rolling. Thank you to the Roper boys once again, as well as our great partners. Aquanta, Teton Ridge, Key Ranch, Four Bears Casino, American Hat Company, and Yeti all along for the ride this year. My buddy, J.J. Harrison, one of the top entertainers in Pro Rodeo, back at INFR with us. Yeah. J.J. Loving it, too. I like that. You know what's great about the South Point Hotel and Casino is every night here at the South Point is Saturday night. Where else can you go in the world and get a Saturday night every night? So just one time, thank you, Mom. Listen, just one time, I want you to sound off like a Saturday night crowd. One, two, three, give it to me. That is what we Ooh. love to hear as we keep it rolling. Shoot number five, Dallas Young Pine, your cowboy from Calgary, Alberta. Happy hour from Black Eagle Rodeo. As we take him down to the eight second mark tonight, I got a little bit of bad news for you. As you look over by shoot number six, a yellow flag on the South Point floor tonight. You'll watch the ride right here. That mark out rule, we missed it that very first jump out. It's a rule the Cowboys volunteered decades ago. It sets up your ride. As a matter of fact, it makes these animals harder to ride. 
And tonight we disqualify ourselves at a no score for Dallas Young Pine. Let's run one in from MCD Bronx. The bucking horse they call Thunderheart. The cowboy with the task at hand. To cover him right now, he'll need to stay on for eight seconds. Curly Twig of Lethbridge, Alberta. Shoot number three. All right, Curly. Let's get it right now. Oh no. Heads up, JJ. No worries. I got yeah. everything planned out. <laughs> so what number were you on? You're doing push-ups over there as they interrupted you. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I dropped. No, I got them done. Every time I drop a pass, it's a good pass. Like I do 10 push-ups. Ah, there you go. That's on me. I was not afraid of that horse at all. They're nice little sweet domesticated animals <laughs> come over here i'll rub him on his forehead yeah there you go it's going to be your fourth no score in a row as we get ready to ride with jet knight right now elephant toothpaste is the name of the horse from muddy creek pro rodeo <laughs> matchup coming your way inside shoot number two dupree south dakota could be the young talent to be our first qualified ride here on thursday night He's a two-time qualifier that we have seen put up some rides in this arena before. As you look back one year ago in the third round of the finals, it took an 84-point ride to win this round. Tonight, we'll take what we can get. We're 0 for 4 so far, Daryl. We want some numbers on the board. We want to ignite the crowd and kind of set the tone for the next two nights of rodeo in the South Point. Well, you call on the state champion right here, NRCA champion. National High School Rodeo Qualifier. He's been there two times. He's a good one right now. He just gets off to a rocky start to his 2023 into national finals. One horse at a time. One horse can change that right here. Add that go around money at this cowboy. He's climbing aboard right now. Elephant Toothpaste of Muddy Creek Pro Rodeo. The other night up at the Grand View Lounge, we had Muddy Creek Pro Rodeo up on stage two times. I was going to say, not once, but twice. Yes, sir. And you know, the great thing about Muddy Creek Pro Rodeo and that first go-around win, both horses they won buckles for were featured at the Thomas and Mack and the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. This one's going to be no different for Jet Knight. Come on, cowboy. Opportunity's yours. Yikes! Oh, man. Jed, give us a hair flip. Come on. There you go. <laughs> we get by one tonight for your first qualified bareback ride. As the Roper boys clean the arena, you see that horse doing everything in his power to get Jed on the ground. We get tapped off to the eight second mark. They've got a ride for eight. And. Oh, it's a no score, a 7.59. A 7.59, oh boy. Come on, man. I thought in Indian country you just round up. <laughs> Come on, that's eight seconds. Come on. I think that's only if you work for the tribe, okay? Oh. Let's go to a 15 time qualifier. Here to the international finals. We'll make that call on down to the Seminole Tribes of Florida. They'll send us a good one, Jacoby Johns. Let's get it, cowboy. Yikes. I think everybody sitting in their chair all leaned over to the left at once. Kind of looked like we were doing the wave. You look back up at the replay, that slow pour of Wilson Rodeo. Cowboy does a great job setting his feet, but after that, he takes all the beating on the end of the rigging right there. Jacoby John, we're there for the whistle. How about a 64 points to get us started on a Thursday? Come on now. That's not bad. That's better than zero. 
By the way, welcome in everybody watching live around the world on Pluto. There was a little bit of delay going live, but we are a few rides into the bareback riding. You just saw, if you guys were watching, you just saw that 64 point score from Jacoby Johns. That was the very first qualified ride here in Las Vegas. We're getting ready to go to Tom G. And on that note, by the way, we, the re-air of this go-round performance, whether it be on PBR Ride Pass on Pluto or on the Cowboy Channel, will be aired in their entirety, all right? So we've got it taken care of as we go now to your next talent. As we say a big thank you to the Roper boys once again. Keep in mind tonight, there is no go-round buckle presentations. Of course, this is the first half of the round. So we'll be back in the Grand View tomorrow night at 10.30 after the rodeo. New Mexico talent Tom Chi, one of the Iron Men of the India National Finals Rodeo. We see him in the bareback, the saddle bronc, and the bull riding from time to time. Today, he's here in the bareback riding. Newcomb, New Mexico talent Geisha is the name of the horse from BMB Rodeos. We saw this horse out day number one in your first performance. I believe Tom's got a score under his belt from the first day, a no score yesterday, looking for a, another qualified ride. Shoot number six is where you watch as we say, let's go to work now. Ho, 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 yeah. You talk about turning it on in Las Vegas. There is the eight second mark tonight. And the New Mexico Cowboy Ooh. gets to the eight to nine. Yo, wow, man, this what a way to bounce back. Out for redemption on a Thursday night. That horse bringing it as well. Snappy kicks, getting a little air time. Tom Chi handling him to the best of his ability on a Thursday night right here in Las Vegas. Our four pro officials certified by the INFR watched it closely every single jump. 73 points. That's going to take the lead in the round. Man, he got out of there, though. He thought the pickup men were playing defense. No, dude, they're on your <laughs> team. They're on your team. Let's sail down in the south of the land of the sun. Tunnelly, Arizona. They ran one in for him. They call Spotlight a B and b Rodeos. Wyatt Madoni is the name of the cowboy. Another multi-event cowboy competing right here in the bareback riding. Eight seconds at a time right here. Also competes on in the bull riding. A true roughy gonna get set right now. Coming out of shoot number five. Feast your eyes, Las Vegas. If you're just now getting into town, welcome. You're just now getting here. We've had a fun-filled week, but it doesn't stop here. Wyatt Madoni's going to get set on Spotlight, a B&B &B rodeo. Making them last-minute adjustments. Oh, man. He's feeling it. I love the South Point. I, I truly love this place. Let's buck one. Let's buck one right now, Wyatt. Come on. Look at the footwork. Uh-oh. Cowboy's going to stay on his feet. You bet, Wyatt. Look at the athleticism from that cowboy. Yes, sir. A roper pickup man go right to work. Dude. <laughs> you okay, buddy? You talk about resiliency as Native Americans. You watch this talent. He pulled himself back up over on the correct side of the horse. The way the side of the horse he was on, his hand wasn't going to pop out no matter what you did. He puts on a clinic of a bareback ride. Horse going into the spin cycle, he survives it. Explodes up, finishes out the ride. Now you see his right hand, he's hanging off on the left side. There's no way he would have got out of there. As native, and natives do, he pulls himself up, says, I ain't going to stay here and take this. Was able to free himself up, pick up men trying to get to him. Get that horse contained. It all worked out. Everybody's up, okay, and safe. Oh, yeah, That's totally. That's what we want to see in a 76-point ride for his efforts tonight. He's going to take the lead in the bareback. 
Yeah. And that's, that's exactly what we wanted to have happen. Yeah, we wanted to run him over about four times, roll him around, really get him used to the dirt here at the South Point. <laughs> I guarantee you, you could tell that kid's an Indian relay racer at some point in his life, huh? He was like, let's go. Well, that cowboy knows nothing good happens on that side of the bucking horse. Let's go on over to South Dakota. We put three cowboys on over at the Grandview Lounge from the state of South Dakota in the last few days. They know how to buck them, they know how to raise them, and they know how to ride them. Happy hour of Bar C5. They run us one in from Canada. Bar C5 has some of the best bucking horses on the planet. Connor Heinert. He got one done yesterday. Let's see if we can't make it two in a row right here. He was 82 points yesterday. Come on, Connor, let's keep it going. Roper, pick up and go right in, go right to work. It's out to go to Cowboy. It's set safely on the ground. I love the cornrows. Yes. You look back up at the replay, covering a little bit more ground than a guy wants to when you're trying to go to the top of the leaderboard. Tough enough to wear pink. Yeah, just like we thought. How about a 58-point ride right there for Connor Heinert and his efforts? Well, there you go, a tough fought round as we have four qualified rides turned in out of nine attempts. Thank you again, the Roper boys getting our arena cleared out. There you see the round leaderboard, Connor Heinert with a 58, Jacoby John 64, Tom Chi at 73, and Wyatt Batoni 76 points. Speaking of our go-around leader, he is standing by with Wade Cauliflower. Wyatt, you're winning the round 76 points. It was a great ride, but everybody's gonna remember that hang up and save you had it. How did you have the wherewithal to think of that and get back in there? Uh, it was just the Indian in me to do a little relay, hop on, and <laughs> keep myself in my bind. Did we at least get a war hoop? <laughs> yeah. All right, how about that? Our round leader, Wyatt Bodoni. We got the second half coming tomorrow night. I love it. There you go. Those of you watching on Ride Pass around the world, we'll be back live from the South Point in Las Vegas with the INFR. We are back live. Those of you watching on Ride Pass and Pluto around the world, we are live at the entertainment capital of the world, South Point Arena, the home of the Indian National Finals Rodeo. You've not missed any of the action since we've gone live tonight. We're going to your steer wrestling right now. The big men are going to work. We start off with the Canadian talent, Otis Little Mustache, as your first dogger of the first go round. Now, Traditionally, you know, I might get a little flack for saying this, but Thursday night's not the night you want to be out. But for me, it's my favorite round to watch because it's the all or nothing round. It's the round they turn their luck around and they win some money to put in their pocket before they leave Vegas. That it is. They sent us a good one from north of the border. Oh, this little mustache. Time to go to work, cowboy. Oh, no. That is tough right there. Three and out for Otis Little Mustache. No time. Okay, man, I just talked about it. This is no joke. Uh -huh. I just talked about the new Instagram, the INFR. It jumped 350 followers to, to celebrate. We just crossed over 2,000 to celebrate. We're giving away some INFR swag right now. Oh, yes, yeah. sir, of course, we're starting with you, yeah. Yeah, keep your beers cold, or I mean soda pops. You, uh -oh. give, it, you give it to Daryl? He works here. <laughs> Let's go to Otto Lane Dixon. Morley Alberta Cowboy. They're pretty tough north of the border. Growing up playing hockey. No stranger for the Stony Cowboy to be backing in on that side of the box. All around Cowboy competes also in a tie down roping, the team roping as well. 
Backing in, he's born right here. His partner, Brandon Bates, steer wrestling horse right here on this beautiful bay. Oh, Bay not wanting to stand in the corner. He's got one here. There were no time on the steer for the last two go rounds. That means Lane has the opportunity to be the first man out on him. Oh, no. Hell oh, for three. Look at the replay right here. Lane getting down in the hole. Oh, man. Hunting for the head right there. Got him in a little bit of trouble. No time for Lane. Let's go to Brent Belcom right now. Blood South Dakota talent, 15 times a qualifier to our Indian National Finals rodeo. Got to say, JJ, earlier I was saying I'm jealous of the folks that are fresh to town because I've been here since Sunday. No way. We want to live here. But I guess I can't complain to the ones that have been here since last Thursday. You see them running on empty right Oh, now. wow, yeah. There you go. Your whiskey's protected in a boot. <laughs> protected in a boot. That's cowboy stuff right there. Cowboy. Come on, Brent. Oh! Going to be a no time as we go 0 for 3 in the steer wrestling tonight. High risk, high reward right here in the steer wrestling. The Cowboys are running at the barrier. They're getting in a hole fast as they can. Backing in right now, we're gonna go to Crown Point, New Mexico. This is a first time qualifier here to the International Finals. He started steer wrestling earlier this year. He's picked it up, he's gotten pretty good. He's athletic. Let's go, Doug Perry. Oh, no. Them red bucket shoots come up quick. Tough to make a payday on the backside. No time right there for Doug Perry. It's his first INFR. South Point, he's had a tough break all week. How about you show him a little bit of love in a city of sin? Let's go to Dusty Lewis right now, Browning, Montana. Big thank you, Miss Indian Rodeo, Sharia Edgewater, helping us in the arena. As we invite you to the Miss Indian Rodeo pageant, that happens tomorrow. The traditional portions will take place, traditional tra presentations will take place at the pool area tomorrow morning. That's 9 a.m. We get to walk with the dock at 8 a.m., the fashion show at 9.30, something for everybody tomorrow morning. As we ride in with Dusty Lewis right now, you see his nephew, Dakota, on the hazing side, part of the great Lewis family of Indian professional rodeo, looking to get our first qualified time turned in. Come on, Dusty, just like that, yeah! And our time gonna be a nine and 35, as we have no penalties at the barrier. 9.35, your first qualified run. Woo. Let's head on down to New Mexico. For our next cowboy, we'll call on the Crown Point New Mexico Cowboy, Jared Pino. He won 2022 Bylas Steer Wrestling Championship at Bylas Tour Rodeo. No stranger to the winner's circle. The Navajo Nation represented underneath the cowboy's hat. Not the head. I learned how to say hello. Kind of a big deal. Jared, you got some, JJ, you got some fans over there. Love them. Look at the start. Oh man, get in the hole, you bet. I like it. Six and 91, he'll go right to the lead. You look at the replay, he pins that barrier. Man. The patience right there from a champion cowboy staying in the hole, you bet. You got some fans, man. This lady crazy. Is that your mom? Crazy aunt? What you got over here? Throw them shades on and just give him a wink, would you? Yeah, throw <laughs> the shades on. Those are for you. There we go. Let's go to Shane Day, Chief, right now. Standoff, Alberta, Canada. 
Seven-time qualifier, getting ready to go to work as we say a big, big thank you to our friends at the U.S. Coast Guard. They've got a booth up in the concourse as well as our friends at Boot Barn and Roper. So much to do and see in the vendor marketplace. Those of you that are first time to Vegas, you didn't get enough time to go through the vendor marketplace, make sure you make some time tomorrow night. Stuff is selling quickly as well. You want to get there early. Shane Day Chief, standoff Alberta, Canada. Like I said, seven times he's qualified at the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Pretty special Indian Rodeo. One of the things we've talked about all week long is the family aspect that makes INFR so wonderful. Qualified here alongside his brother Ty Day Chief. Finished out top 10 in the tour of the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Wow, that horse just popped a wheelie. That was cool. <laughs> The hair trigger on these animal athletes is something. Oh! Ouch! Man, I was down here on the arena floor. If you need me to break it down what happened, I can. All right, so as we go through the replay, we go to your color commentator, J.J. Harrison. So right here, he missed. Okay, back to you guys. <laughs> oh boy. Now that what's, that's what makes you the best in the business. Nobody can beat him. Here's a guy that missed. <laughs> Here's a guy. Oh, God. I'm going to go check on him. You know what? I'm going to give him a hug. I think that needs to be you and I's own t shirt. Here's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think he wants a hug. Let's go to a former world champion. Of the steer wrestling right here, Indian World Champion Brandon Bates. Riding a horse they call Blur. He's feeling good, calling for cattle. Oh no. Unfortunately, not going to work out today for the former world champion. No time. Let's go to another world champion right now in Jeremiah Jody. There you see his cousin Caden on the hazing side, two great family legacies. We talked about Bates and Jody. We damn good too, but you can't be no geek off the street. You know what I mean? You gotta be handy with the steel. Earn your keep. Regulators! Ready? Mount up. The regulator is mounted up and back in Las Vegas. Jeremiah Jody looking to get a time turned in. He was a 6 and 38 the first day at no time yesterday. Just because we look for four runs don't mean we always get them. That's all right. Get a little money. No penalties on the run and a 4.16. Bringing the house down with the number one spot on the leaderboard on a Thursday night. Oklahoma, are you here on a Thursday? I said, Oklahoma, are you here with us on a Thursday? Chase Crane of the Creek Nation made that qualification through Oak Moldy Oklahoma Tour Rodeo. Getting set. He's got some talent. Look at him go. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Boom. Oh man, you look at it right there. He was uh, running right at the barrier. But unfortunately, we get the wave from the judges on over there. That is a three and seven, three plus 10, JJ. Man, you asked if Oklahoma was here and you didn't get much of a response. I'm gonna tell you, Oklahoma's here. You just can't throw in tough things like on a Thursday because they don't ever know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma, you here? Yeah. Oklahoma. There we go. From Oklahoma, we go to New Mexico now with a fan favorite cowboy by the name of Rooster Yazzie. The Navajo Nation steer wrestler is here in two events. 
an eight-time qualifier to the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Want to make sure everything is just right. Calling for the steer, and away we go. Is Dad Benny on the haze inside? You bet. We look to the box, and we are clean for a 3.89 to the lead tonight. Woo! That is how we get this run jump started right now. We'll head on up to Big Sky Country. Montana Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame Cowboy backing in the box. Two-time world champion steer wrestler. Former all-around world champion Nolan Conway. Let's go. Yeah. Four and 44, if that was a slot machine, we are ding, 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 and we're gonna go right now, number third in the round with Nolan Conway. Cowboy's got two throwed. That's the way to get it, Cowboy. So happy to see him get that time turned in. With that four and 44, Nolan, go to the roulette wheel and put 40 on four. Let's go to Rowdy Benson right now. Ayo Yazi. There we go. Ribal New Mexico talent just saw his cousin Rooster go to work. You talk about another one of our great all-around contenders in the world of rodeo. Here's a young man who grew up in the junior tour system of the INFR, that great feeder system that we've seen grow for over the past dozen years. He's been on stage. Here we go, Rooster, Hyo. Yeah, Hyo getting it done. At a 4.70 second run. Let's go to a former reserve world champion. Bridger Aviat from Wall, South Dakota. Of the Oglala Nation. He's a good one right here. He knows he's got the steer they won money on. He knows the draw. He knows the start. He's got all the information the cowboy needs to make a good run. He's got the horsepower they call skunk. This dusty buckskin. All right, Bridger. Oh, no, hang on. Oh man, not gonna work out for the former reserve world champion. No time. I figure if they miss real bad, we don't get back. Big thank you to our great partners that help us rodeo at the Indian National Finals Rodeo and Apple Nation Parks and Recreation Department along with Navajo Nation Department of Agriculture, Teton Ridge, and Classic Robes. Here we go with. What a talent saying hello in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. 5.02 going to be our time tonight. Let's make that long distance phone call on down to New Mexico. Crown Point, to be exact, is where the cowboy calls home.
He has two down for the week. He might have been a little long, that's why he's here tonight. But he's got the opportunity right now to get three covered, to get three thrown. Brent Jody. Oh no. Man, that steer been watching Top Gun. Top Gun, you say? You know it. I hit the brakes, they fly right by. <laughs> Tough yeah. luck for the freshman qualifier. It's going to be a no time tonight. Hey, hey. Ce celebrity sighting. Celebrity sighting, huh? You probably don't know this, but the NFL has an expansion team in Alaska, apparently, and this dude is the quarterback of the Alaska National Football League team. Here we go, all the way across the arena. As we make the catch. That's that awesome. There's the leaderboard in the go-around. Rooster Yazzie, 3.89 second run. Jeremiah Jody, 4.16. Nolan Conway, 4.44. Hayao Yazzie at a 4.70. That's a wrap on the go-around. Rooster Yazzie, the number one man, standing by with Wade Cauliflower. Rooster's winning the round with the 3.8 right now. He's got a calf rope and run coming up. That run puts you back in contention in the all-around race. How does that set up this next run in the calf rope? And what was that run like? Uh, that run was pretty good. My dad did a good job hazing and just gives me some momentum to rope my calf. What are we looking at the calf roping? How's it, what's the draw like? Uh, I think he's pretty good. I just got to do my part and let the chips fall where they may. Two for two tonight. With that, we're going back to the roping box at this time as we say hello to the ladies in the breakaway. This right here is the fastest event in rodeo right now. Florida We're Cowboys. so proud to have our ladies Florida being Cowboys. a part of our performance for the last 30 plus years. PRCA has finally caught on, bringing it to the front and center stage. Family affair right now. We're gonna go to the land of the Seminole. Let's go to Ani Jumper. No luck all week. Let's turn it around. You betcha. How about a two and five six to set the pace? What a great way to start it off with our breakaway roping here tonight. Amber Carson rides in right now from Grassy Butte, North Dakota. Fort Peck cowgirl, five-time qualifier to the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Backing in aboard her pretty horse called Swede here tonight. Thank you again, TC Energy, Marathon Petroleum, the South Fox Ranch, inviting you to our Diabetes Awareness Walk tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., right outside the top of the escalators where you see them trailers going to our all-around champions. Yeah! No penalties on the run. Oh, 10 right there, a 12.13, 12.13. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life. We talked about family legacy. Another proud family member of the Ben family backing in the box right now. YouTube sensations of the San Carlos Apache tribe. Arena Ben, we have had nothing but tough luck. Let's turn it around. Bring that energy up right now, South Point. Four-time qualifier. What it do? All right, Arena. Quick throw. Oh, no. That is going to be a no time for Arena Ben. 
Let's go to the Navajo Nation right now as we ride in with a Page, Arizona cowgirl, Autumn Whitehorse. Freshman qualifier at the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Punched her ticket to get here by winning the San Carlos Apache Tribal Veterans Rodeo. Got to see her take second place in Camp Verde at the Yavapai Apache Rodeo in June. Autumn looking for her first qualified time of the weekend. From a great rodeo and family in the Western Agency of the Navajo Nation. Oh. Autumn gonna be in no time. You can't blame him right there for taking the shot that presented to him right out of the gate. That is the name of the game right here. The stakes are high. Two and 56 right now is leading the round. These ladies right here are gonna be going at it as this one is no different. First time qualifier, Chelsea Samuel of the Navajo Nation. She's got fans loud and proud in full effect. She's gonna get old Sorrel nice and square, breaking at the pin. Chinley, Arizona's where she calls home. Once everything's facing the same direction, all eyes down the arena. Money. We're clean. How about number two in the round with the two and nine six? What a great run as we get ready to ride in now with a, another of a first time qualifiers from the Navajo Nation. Heather Rogers from Round Rock. Always with a smile on her face. There you see Heather's brother, Eric, helping her out in the box. Another great rodeo and family. Yeah. And a 3.60 second run, gonna put her in the mix. Let's go to another. Rookie qualifier. There's the leaderboard right there, that two and 56. Two and 96 in second, three and 60 in third. Plenty of room up there for our next cowgirl. Navajo Nation sends us J.C. Hawk. Ride the beautiful Palomino they call Lady Gaga. Let's go make some moolah. Oh, boy. You look at the replay. Quick throw, big curl, but unfortunately, we're going to get a leg in the loop. That is going to be a no time. I'm sorry. Finette Gray from Ridgeview, South Dakota. Got to celebrate a birthday at the Indian National Finals Rodeo this week. College National Finalist. Backs in the box aboard our horse named Twist. Here we go. Oh, and it's gonna be a no time.
Young Cowgirl didn't have the finals just yet. And I say yet because she has an opportunity right now. She is no stranger to the winner's circle, Sammy Joe Bird. Oh no. Not gonna work out today. Her and Joker, no time. The field we just saw out all came to us on no times as we go now to Tessie Lemire of Box Elder, Montana. Four-time qualifier from the Chippewa Cree. Rides in on her horse, Lil Guy. Competing alongside her father, the great Billy Lemire. Here we go. Oh. There we went. It's going to be a no time. Oh, boy. Our cowgirls, they set to pace for us. It's up to the next few to try and keep up or go to the lead. We'll head on up to the land of the Epscopi Pekeni. Six times she's been here to the international finals. Michaela Tatsy. We had a breakout yesterday. We got out too early. We had a no time on number one. But right now, Michaela has the opportunity. She's got the draw. Riding a horse they call Grinch. He turns it up, comes to that screeching halt, drawing the 11s into sand. We'll go ahead and get reset. We're feeling good. Yes. That right there is going to catapult her to the number one spot in the go round. Two and five, five for Michaela Tatsy. If you want to know how tough the breakaway is here that takes the lead by one one hundredth of a second. Exciting stuff, and that's why it's the INFR as we ride in now with Colby Woodward. Debris, South Dakota cowgirl. Proud member of the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. Took seven years off her rodeo. We're back with the 2.64 to the number three spot on the board. That's the way to get her done. Our next cowgirl with the opportunity, Fountain Hills, Arizona. Fallon Doka of the Fort McDowell Yavapai. This is the cowgirls. First time here in the ladies breakaway. Let's see if we can't get her a check. with her first qualification here. She went down to the Navajo Nation Ag Qualifier. She came out on top. Riding a horse they call Floyd. He's rocking that roached mane. I like it. Unfortunately, we get out, we throw a loop. We almost catch calf, runs right through. No time for Falandoka. 
Let's stay around the Valley of the Sun as we go to Maricopa, Arizona right now. Martina Monroe. Five-time qualifier. Qualified alongside her dad, Leon, Uncle Leonard Williams Sr. Proud to be back with her horse, Buggy. Martina, four seconds the first day and no time yesterday. Could use a little hand clapping to help us out. Check, check. Be a no top. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go on down to Tohatchi, New Mexico. David Dennison. 20, 2002 world champion, ladies breakaway roper backing in right now. Thing is just right. We're gonna nod. Oh no. Big trouble here tonight. No time. Gonna be no time for tonight for Devin as we go to Jacqueline Peterson right now. Isabel, South Dakota. Giant River Sioux Cowgirl, seven time qualifier. Proud mama looking to set a great life example for her beautiful daughters. I want to say a big thank you to Southern California Tribal Chairman's Association, the Akana Group, who has brought us the Indian National Finals Rodeo Tour all year long. Lark LLC, Intertribal Act Council, Skydancer Casino, along with our great partners at Four Bears Casino and PBR Ride Pass, allowing us to be at homes around the world. Time going to be a 3.48 to close out our breakaway today. 3 and 48 for Jacqueline. There you see that run and recap of our go around to this point here tonight. Your lead time, Michaela Tatsy, 2.55. Audie Jumper with the 2.56, Colby Woodward 264, and Chelsea Samuel 2.96. Rounding out your top four in the round. We'll head on down to the on the sand with our none other than Megan Lunick standing by. Thank you, gentlemen. So I'm standing here with Michaela. She's my fellow Blackfeet cowgirl. I'm so proud of you. I just heard her dad walk by Mike Tatsy, and he said he, you needed to thank him for that horse. Tell me, what were your thoughts coming into tonight? Just to score sharp, ride, and then rope. You did exactly that, and I'm so proud of you. And keep going at them. Good job. There she is, Michaela Tatsy. Thank you, Megan Lunick. Those of you watching on Ride Pass on Pluto, we'll be right back in Las Vegas. We are back in Las Vegas, Indian National Finals Rodeo. You have not missed a minute of the action, just a whole lot of fun. I'm telling you, if you're within driving range and you want to come hang out in the entertainment capital of the world, fill the gas tank and come to Vegas, because there's no party like the INFR right here at the South Point. We just got to meet my little buddy, Little Beaver, from Dulce, New Mexico. We're going to the bucking shoots right now. Vegas, you ready for a little saddle bronc riding? We're going to ride with a multi-generational rodeo talent, Joe Scott III. 
He's on Shattered Dreams from Triangle Rodeo, shoot number three. Let's go to work. Joe. Well, you saw the yellow flag on the ground. That was actually Randon Wagner. Randon Wagner. I believe we missed the mark out before the flank fell off. So the disqualification happens before the infraction. It's a no score. That was Roll the Dice from BNB Rodeos, by the way, with Randon. Mark out. That's right. Mark out. I just, Go ahead. I, just, I, just, I don't know if y'all saw it, but I just found his spur. And I said, here, I'll put it back on. He said, nah, I'm good. So uh, 45 bucks. <laughs> now 50. I got 45. Now 50. I got 50. Now 60. 60 bucks. We're going to make some money today. There you go. All right, now we're gonna go on over to the preferred bucket shoot number two, proud sponsor, the Cooper Tire Bucket Shoot. Let's go on over to Montana Barlow, climbing aboard Tombstone of Bar C5. This one right here is ranked. Let's go, Montana. Oh no, roll, buddy, roll. Oh boy. A crucial moment as we watch that back. You'll see the bar C5 horse going straight in the air, mashing him in the back of the bucket shoes. Now what he does here immediately, they call that declaring yourself. That's saying I'm not trying this animal because I was fouled at the bucket shoot. I'm asking for a re-ride. The judges agree the foul occurred, so a re-ride indication coming in for Montana Barlow tonight. Well, how many people think he should take the re-ride? Yeah. You know why? You know why you think that? Because you don't got to do nothing but sit there and drink beer. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He should do it again and ride backwards wearing a chicken costume. <laughs> hey, as anybody in Vegas will tell you, this long in Vegas, drinking beer is pretty hard. Right, Vegas? Pretty good. Nope. <laughs> I know. I know a lot of people here make it look pretty easy. <laughs> Oh, no, I, you know what? I think there's a lot of people here that this just might be their first night in Vegas. If it's your first night here, if you just got to town, we need to hear you on the count of three. One, two, three. All right. If you've been here with us, let's show them how to do it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Dude, come That's on, That's how man. we do it. Those are the same people yelling twice. <laughs> <laughs> Which, again, they're pretty good at drinking beer. Let's go back to Joe Scott the third. Shattered dreams of Triangle Rodeo. Shoot number one, we go. Try them again as you see a great shot from our friends at PBR Ride Pass showing you the procedure on what it takes to get out on one of these big animal athletes. Triangle Rodeo bringing them to us. One of our top contractors we see up and down the INFR tour. Contracting to big rodeos. What a wonderful breeding program they carry on as well. As we are inside shoot number one. Thank you to our partners at Las Vegas Events. The RDG Foundation, that's Eric and Mary Lynn Salata. Marathon Petroleum, Roper, as well as Dreamcatcher Homes and Home Run Construction. Here we go with Joe. Whoa! A flying dismount. Unfortunately, going to be a no score. Not gonna work out tonight for Joe Scott, the third. 
Shadow Dreams bringing a cowboy down early. Again, we would like to thank our partners at South Fox Ranch, as well as our longtime supporters here at the INFR, the Southern California Tribal Chairman's Association. We're gonna go on now to shoot number four. Climbing aboard Driftwoods, drinking and dreaming of New West Rodeo. Huck, Arizona Zone, Shane Phillips. Come on, cowboy. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> it's starting to get crazy on the night performances, guys. Our roper pick them in, go right to work. They set him on the down on the ground. Huck Arizona, it's your time. Cowboys there for the whistle. We're gonna bring him a final score, 49 points for his efforts. He's all alone at the top of the leaderboard with a 49-point effort. South Point, we got one covered. We go to Joe Scott Jr. right now. Madras, Oregon, tea time from Black Eagle Rodeo. Shoot number five is where you watch this talent go to work. There you see our buddy Ray doing the flanking. Ray Champ and Black Eagle Rodeo Bucking Horse. Joe making his way to the eight. However, you see that yellow flag they just passed. That's going to indicate a no score. JJ, what are you doing over there? Sorry, I just felt like I needed to get involved. I did what any, any mother would have done. Except on round two, I have no part of this when I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, they're going to get him at 7.59. So it's a no score for Joe Scott Jr. But what a blessing right there to be able to travel up and down the road. We talked about it earlier in our grand entry. The legacies that we carry. The traditions we hand down from father to son. How about it? We had Joe Scott the third, and this is Joe Scott Jr. Put your hands together for the father and son out there. That's what we're talking about. Keeping it involved, keeping the traditions alive. On the greatest sport on dirt, we're gonna go now to shoot number six. Lucky Mound from Arrowhead Ranch and Jarek Hildreth, New Mexico Cowboy. Let's go. Oh. Look at that bucking horse just finish out right there. All on his own, that is a no score for Jarek. We have 100% Indian-owned contractors here, and we are very proud of them right there. Even on a Thursday evening, we bring nothing but the best. Our Cowboys coming down early. That is going to be a no score for Jarek. Big thank you to the Roper Pickup Men once again. to get you outfitted from head to toe up at the Roper booth. You can find them behind Section 114 right here in the South Point. What you're trying to do? Keep 
up. Guess who's back again? Uh, they don't know. Uh, they don't know. Uh, but they know as soon as I walk in. <laughs> oh, I like it. South Point, are you having fun with JJ or what? I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up. Let's ride with Lee Jean Barlow right now. Shoot number one. Exotic twist from Incredible Rodeo. Here's a four-time qualifier from the Navajo Nation. Let's ride. Whoa. -ho -ho. Going to be a no score for that young talent tonight. So much power in that animal athlete. Only took one jump to disappear from him tonight. No score for Lee Jean. I love the name of this next horse, Daryl. He's a good one. From up in Big Sky Country, born and raised. We got a pair of cowboys and bucking horses right here from Montana. We'll go on over to the M. Scoppy in the Pecunny of Browning, Montana. This is his third trip here to the International Finals. He's won PRCA events up in Montana, extreme Bronx of Haver, Montana. The Cowboy came out victorious with the highest score on the weekend. They call the bucking horse way more blues from Kitson Rodeo. And Shane Bird Rattler, the cowboy, with the task to cover him for the next eight seconds. When he nods, you it's ready? go time. You ready? Let's kick it. Oh, yeah. White guy rapping, look out. All right, stop. South Point, listen. JJ's back with a brand new edition, something. Grabs a hold of you tightly, flow like a hot poon, daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Oh, I don't know. Turn out the lights and I glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a band, oh, light up a stage, I watch it jump like a candle, dance. <laughs> How do you like him now, South Point? JJ Harrison. If there was a problem, yo, I solve it. Check out the hook while the South Point revolves it. There Let's you ride. go. Shane Bird Rattler, way more is blues. Yikes, ouch. Right into the wall as you see Stetson Sports Med quickly Coming to his aid tonight, the Roper boys got a handle on Waymore's Blues. Bullfighters forming an extra line of defense just in case. You talk about teamwork, collaboration, and the best in the business coming together. How about a round for our arena crew tonight? And keep it going, Shane is up. He's on his feet like nothing happened. Yeah. Hey, can you? Could we run the replay back? Just, I just want you to watch what happened to you. Let's run it back a little bit. Look, you're doing really good, and then right here. And I, I'm sorry, son, but we're going to have to bill you for that concrete. You can't, <laughs> you can't damage the concrete with your face and not expect to have to pay a little. Oh, man. That kid is tough. Tough. He could eat a car tire and be OK. Kyle, if that was you or me, if that was you or me, we would have just laid there and hoped for a hot paramedic to come out. <laughs> yep, you ain't lying on that one. We need to change the energy in this room tonight as we look to get a qualified ride to take the lead. 
Switch it over to shoot number one. There you go. I like the moving and grooving. Climbing down inside shoot number one with Cole Cash Waters. Rapid City, South Dakota. Here's a freshman qualifier to the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Cole Cash climbing aboard a horse called Navajo Shallow from Not Afraid Bucking Horses. You can bet we're gonna get a great matchup as you can see just how tall that horse stands inside Prefort number one. Let's ride him now. Come on, Cole. Yo, no. Wow, what a horse. Gonna be a no score. What do you, just out of curiosity, Daryl, this one's for you. Yeah. How much do you think that horse weighs? Uh, we'll say about 1350. 1350, okay, pretty yeah. good. How much do you think this lady over here weighs? Which one? Right here oh. on the end. <laughs> Go ahead. Where? Oh, that was just wrong. Right here. How far are you going to take this, Daryl? The correct answer is <laughs> no. <laughs> Daryl, you're in the van headed towards the cliff. Hit uh -huh. the brakes, son. Oh, we're going to say a buck ten. <laughs> yeah, we'll say a buck ten. One ten. Good job. Right? Thank you, JJ. That's Daryl. I'll get you his email address. Yeah, it's Daryl with a Y. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Not Kyle. All right, here we go. There you go. Wake up. There you go. We're going down to Winona, Oklahoma. Jackson Howe. Oh, no. Roll, the cowboy. Thank God for slip-on boots. Yikes. That Fitzpatrick Ranch bucking horse they call Lockdown. Look at him just rear out of there, bringing our cowboy out over the swells. That is all she wrote right there. Thankfully, that roper Stetson boot pops right out of the stirrup. He's able to get away. He's up, he's all right, not the finals he wanted to have. Gonna be a no score. Only one qualified ride to this point, as you see up on the screen, 49 points from Shane Phillips. Let's ride with Chad Phillips right now. Hawk Arizona insurrection from MCD Bronx. Here's a young gun talent that came to ride. Oh. Gonna be a no score. What a tough night and a tough round this is, the start of the third round. Thank you to the Cooper Tire Boys helping him out of here tonight. He'll be definitely be checked out by Stetson Sports Med. A lot of the Cowboys we're seeing out tonight, our first couple days, we're not adding any icing to the cake. 
So we wish him the best of luck down the road and hope to see him back at next year's Indian National Finals Rodeo. There's only one score right now on the leaderboard. 49 point mark is at the top right now. That means there's, the door is wide open for the Northern Cheyenne Cowboy. From Kitson Rodeo Company, they bring us Black Book. His father's, oh, this is a re-ride. This is Montana Barlow, come on. Oh no. Oh man, that was our reed ride right there from Montana Barlow. Brought our cowboy down from Arizona early. Not gonna work out today. That means that 49 points is gonna be at the top. You look back up at the leaderboard. All alone at the top. <laughs> All night, man. Right there, all alone, 49 point mark, Shane Phillips. That one right there, look at Black Book from Kitson Rodeo. That's gorgeous. In fact, we'd like to invite any of our fans to come down and ride this gentle domestic <laughs> animal. Just you, come on down. You know, you got to hear Daryl Wright bragging on the all native stock contractors that we've had of the all native American stock contractor association, the first of its kind that is featured here at the Indian National Finals Rodeo. As we take a wrap of the bronc riding, the tough round it is, Shane Phillips 49, the only qualified ride going into the second half of the round tomorrow night. We're gonna brag on more livestock right now. Wade Cauliflower's got a very special guest standing by. Well, we are live down here. We were talking about all the bucking horses we've seen. We've had a great group all, all week long. All of our contractors are Native American owned bucking horses. And <laughs> I'm standing here with one of our top contractors who will be at the WNFR and the CNFR a little bit later this year and got to bring horses to the Indian National Finals. Tyson Cardinal. Tyson, your program, you guys have built up a huge following. You probably have the most famous bucking horse in the world in Virgil. And everything you guys have done has helped catapult Indian country with bucking horses. How were you guys able to do that? Uh, just a lot of hard work, you know. Uh, I mean, I do this for a living and I've been all over North America and I'll tell you, just standing behind the shoots with all these native contractors, I'm pretty proud to be, to be here and uh, I always thank everybody to, that they invite me back here every year. And, and just the hard work that goes into it, I don't think anyone realizes what we do as contractors, the year off the earliest, you're in bed the latest, feeding, sorting, and making sure them, them animals are healthy and comfortable wherever we go. And we appreciate you coming out and bringing bucket horses here. You guys have done a great job again this year. We look forward to watching you guys at the next two finals you're at. Congratulations on a great year again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Wade. Thank you, Tyson. We'll be right back. Those of you watching on the PBR Ride Pass channel on Pluto, we'll be right back in Las Vegas. Now you know why he's been multiple times nominated for Entertainer of the Year, one of the best in all of rodeo. How about it one more time for J.J. Harrison? We are back live on Ride Pass. Those of you watching on Pluto, you missed Rodeo Magic Mike. We go right now to your next event. It's time for the tie-down roping. Ty Allen Fisher of Ashland, Montana, going to start us off. You haven't missed any of the rodeo, just a whole lot of fun. I am telling you, come to Vegas if you can. If you're close enough, you won't regret it. Backing in right now, Ty Allen Fisher on this black and white horse they call Tonto. All around contender right here in Ty Allen. Let's see if we can't get it done. They tied the calf in 10 earlier. He's oh a good God. one, he knows it. 
Let's oh, use it. Hi, baby. Oh, boy. Yeah. Look at Tonto go right to work for Ty Allen on the dismount. You bet. Okay, guys. I'm a little nervous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hanging out in Indian country, I dance one time like Michael Jackson. Next thing I know, I'm holding a baby. <laughs> that was fast. Uncle JJ. <laughs> Let's go now to Shiprock, New Mexico. Trevor Jim getting set to go on his tie-down horse they call Boogeyman. Dude, you found a baby? What's his name? Carlos. <laughs> the hangover. Boogeyman and Trevor Jim. Freshman qualifier from the from the Navajo Nation. Great rodeo and family on both his mom and dad's side. Looking to get our first qualified time of our first Indian National Finals Rodeo. Got his qualification in San Carlos. Gonna be a no score, no time. Not gonna work out for Trevor Jim. Still looking right now. We'll look on over to the east. Durant, Oklahoma for our next cowboy. They call him BB. $2.5 million in earnings and PRCA money alone. From the Choctaw Nation, he's been here to the international finals five times. 23 qualifications to the national finals rodeo. He's got the horsepower to get him right on back down to the Thomson Mack. The horse they call Katniss. An eight year old mare getting set to go. And Blair Burke. Oh yeah, go on with it, BB. The Cowboys gonna go ahead and climb back aboard, but you will give it a little closer look at the replay. He gets the start he wants as a hard running calf. They have yet to catch here at the International Finals. Catches that back leg right there. You gotta tie up three legs with your picket string. We tie up two. That's not gonna work out today. But you know what? He's a legend of the sport and he deserves everything you have to give him right now. Give Blair Burke a big welcome. Let's ride in now with Dax Siegelbear of Standoff, Alberta, Canada. Hey. Hey, Alberta, Canada, eh? Yo, Hoser. I speak fluent Canadian. A lot of people don't know that. Very fluent. Let's go get some Timmy's, eat some Smarties. Hey, let's go. I love it. Y you are fluent in Canadian. I grew up right up there, man. I'm Okanagan, Washington. Might as well be Canada. Come Here's on. Here's a two time qualifier going to work. Come on, Dax. Uh -oh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's 
Could be a no tie. <laughs> Not going to work out today for Eagle Bear of Alberta. We'll go on over to the Cowboy State of South Dakota. Peyton Belcom, the Seneca Cayuga Cowboy. We were no time yesterday. We broke out on the first one. It's been nothing but tough luck. But right now, the Cowboy has the opportunity to turn things around. He knows the catch. He knows the start. He's got the horsepower. Let's see it right now, Peyton Belcom. Yes, sir, go on. South Point. Two wraps at a hooey. He's gonna climb aboard, put some slack in that line for six seconds. Oh no. We talk about that start. That is a breakout right there. That's gonna cost us 10 seconds on top of the run. That is gonna be a 20 and 78 for the parade, Peyton Belcom. 20 and 78. Let's go to Preston Watson right now, Box Elder, Montana. He's a 20 and 94, his first time around. We mentioned family in the start. He's got his uncle competing here, Eric Watson, his father, Daryl Watson. It's his time. Come on, Preston. Oh, no. We were open around the eyes. Not gonna work out. That is a no time for Preston Watson. No time. Let's stay in Montana as we ride in with a cup bank cowboy right now, Nolan Conway. You talk about a cowboy's cowboy, Nolan Conway is just that. We got to meet him in the steer wrestling as a two-time steer wrestling champion of the world and an all-around champion cowboy. Trains his own horses, a great rodeo family. So they get to go all over the Econa Group INFR Tour. Watch the Montana Pro Circuit champion go to work on a Thursday night in Las Vegas. Time coming in tonight, going to be a 10.58 second run. Big thank you to our partners once again at Pela Casino Spa and Resort. As well as Skydancer Casino, Bill Fick Ford, Key Ranch and Boot Barn, along with the Eddie and American Hat Company. Cowboys like Nolan Conway paved the way for our next contestant. The Epscopy Pecunny Cowboy, Lonzo Skunk Cap. He's a 2021 Big Sky Region year end healing champion. He got it done all year long in a tie down roping. It's his time right now. Let's make our mark, Alonzo. We're gonna draw the hard running red calf. Go on with it. Keep hustling. That old sorrow. 
Putting in some work for Alonzo. Couple wraps and a hooey. This right here is the Cowboys' first trip here competing in the tie-down roping. His rookie season, if you will, in a tie-down. He's gonna come up with a no time, but you know what? Sal Point, this is your chance right here to put a little appreciation on the Cowboy. Or, or money, or money. Like if anybody wanted to get out a dollar and give it, that'd be cool too. <laughs> How'd you do it down and far? Well, not very good, but I made $6,322. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That'd be worth it. I like that. Let's go to Corbin Fisher now. Five-time qualifier from the Northern Cheyenne. If you talk about great rodeo and families, here's another. Another good champion from the Fisher family. That's all. Yeah, yeah, come on, Corbin. From a family of world champions showing us how to get it done on a Thursday night. The gamble pays off at a 12.24 second run. He is third on the leaderboard as of right now. There's a look at it right there. Nolan Conway paving the way. Tyler Allen Fisher, 10 and 81. Corbin Fisher with that 12 and 24 and that 20 and 78 right there. As we now go to New Mexico talent from the Navajo Nation. Ryan Cody Nez. He knows the start. Him and old ball face gonna get it on right now. These cowboys are hungry right here for a payday. Let's go. Oh no. Not gonna work out today. That is a no time for Ryan Codinez. Rondre Burkhalter is back at the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Ardmore, Oklahoma talent. Looking to bounce back. After a no time in the first round. Mighty fast yesterday. Got to see him be an 8.86. Ron Trey, Cherokee Cowboy, making his second appearance at the Indian National Finals. This could be the one to light him up. <laughs> and the time in gonna be a new leader, 8.58. Our next run is so crucial. Not only for the Cowboys payday, but these Cowboys are competing for that beautiful trailer parked up top. Rooster Yazi, he's leading the steer wrestling right now. We're gonna see if we can't take a lead right here in a tie down. Catch as catch can, hustle Rooster. 
Look at the cowboy time. No rope on the neck, two wrap, one wrap in a hooey. Now that all around race is based on a point system. You don't need to make the money to get the points. Rooster Yazi, but right now, you are number two in a round, 10 and five, two. We're starting to have some fun as we go now to Gavaro Harrison, Chidley, Arizona Cowboy. Rides into an interesting situation. He's won the INFR Tour two times. Navo Nation talent is out in the third round. As a five-time qualifier to the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Big thank you, Marathon Petroleum, Cooper Tire, and the RDG Foundation once more. As we go to work now, come on, Gavaro. Putting in some work tonight, yep, right there. Making sure we're thorough to stay down. Oh my gosh, yes. I will take a selfie with you. Stop being <laughs> creepy and asking so much. Here. Wow, there you go. Golly, and stop pinching my butt. <laughs> 12 and 87. Let's go on down to the Creek Nation. Oh no. Let's go on down south. There's your leaderboard, eight and five, eight, Cowboys. Cowboy Roy, come on! He hustled on back because he knows one rap in a hooey. Might have been a little risky, but it made the call. Oh boy. Unfortunately, we're gonna break out. That is gonna cost us 10 seconds. South Point, that is a 19 and 33 for Cowboy Roy. And then there was one on a Thursday night in the South Point. You might tell stories about this around a campfire with the last cowboy out on a tie down rope, but on a Thursday. Let's see if Calvin Smith can put a little monkey wrench right here in the mix. Creek Nation's own Calvin Smith locked and loaded. He went down to the last chance qualifications. He gave her all he had, he entered on up. He got things done next door. There we go, Calvin. From the belt. Oh yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh. Grab your last. Ooh, ooh. Man, oh. that's a nice horse right there. Stay calm. That it is. Stay calm. 
Everybody breathe. I'm just going to keep taking random selfies. Yeah. I like the calming. I stole this dollar horse right there. That could have things could have went from bad to worse. We were holding our breath. But you know what, Woo. Kelvin? We got a 12 and 5 2 for your efforts. Oh, yeah. That right there is going to put you sixth in the round. But let's recap up on the leaderboard. You look back up, the cowboy went from the belt loop. Ty Allen Fisher in fourth right now with that 10 and 81. Nolan Conway, that 10 and 58. Rooster Yazzie, that 10 and 5 too. And your number one man out there Thursday night with half the field to go. Eight and 5 8. Ron Trey Burkhalter. Wade is standing by down on the dirt with our leader. I'm here with Ron J. Burkhalter, leading round two. You had a little bit of uh, tough luck on the first one, but second round and third round, you, you finished out really strong. You're coming in with a contingency of a lot of really good Oklahoma tie-down ropers. Does that push you guys to get better every run? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, the competition is great, and um, you either get better or you stop, one of the two. Now talk about the calf you had. You were able to prepare a little bit more on this one. You put together a good run. What was like draw when you knew you had the draw you had? Um, I knew I had a chance to place, didn't expect to win this round right now, but, uh, you know, I'm just blessed and grateful for the calf I got. All right, we got to sit out one more round and we'll get you taken care of. Congratulations. Oh, boy, South Point. Again, thank you to our partners over at the Akana Group Incorporated. We're going to waste no time getting things started here. These cowboys are running at the money. South Point, I got one question for you. Are you ready to go team roping? Let's go to our first team, a pair of Montana Cowboys, Nolan Conway, Dylan Johnson. Let's see what kind of pace we're gonna set for ourselves. We go for the reach, you bet. Dylan, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunately, things are moving away too fast. We're not going to get to the horn. That is going to be a no time for the Montana boys. No time. We'll keep a trucking. Let's go to a young man we got to meet in tonight's opening ceremonies. A young man who one year ago was crowned the world champion of high school rodeo. The young James Arviso from the Navajo Nation is backed in your header's box tonight. His partner on the heel side is a former tour healing champion in Sean Murphy Jr. Two great Navajo roping talents partnered together, looking to get a time turned in here in round number three. The next generation of rodeo excellence in the arena tonight. Oh, yeah. We go zero to 100 with a 4.80 to number one. Woo! Crowd gets yelling, people get squealing, times get faster, it's science. Let's go now to a pair of cowboys. Dwight Sells on the bones. The reigning world champion on the heels in Cody Lansing. These cowboys just witnessed the fastest time of the rodeo. That's gotta light a fire. Let's see if we can't shake things up. That four and eight zero just set the pace. It's gonna be contagious. Oh, no. And that it was. You know what? When you get a time like that 480 we've seen, that forces each and every header right now to run at that barrier. And you just witnessed some of the side effects of throwing quick. Troy Crawler and Ollie Benjamin. Team riding in from Morley, Alberta, Canada. 
There we go, love here in the Canadians. This team gets them caught, throwing away more shirts. Oh. I meant to say, if this team misses, I'm giving away more shirts. Who wants a tractor supply shirt over here? It's gonna be a no time. Come on now. Our friends at Tractor Supply, they are taking care of us all week long. This is a wonderful little store down there at the stalls. Tractor Supply making it happen for us. Let's go on now to Tobin Cummins of the Absaliga. Let's go to a former world champion healer in Brooks DeHosey. Tobin Cummins, Montana. State University Northern Rodeo team member, a young collegiate athlete, partnered up today with one of the legends of the sport, Brooks DeHosey. Come on, Cowboys. Look at him go. Oh, no. Unfortunately, not going to work out there for Cummins and DeHosey. No time. We're gonna ride in with Dustin and Bailey Bears Paw right now. Back to Morley, Alberta we go. As Team Bears Paw looks to get a time turned in here tonight. Their week's been hot and cold. Let's get hot tonight. Yeah. Time in going to be a 5.14 for the Canadian team. Oh, and a 10 takes us to 15-14. You see these Cowboys out here. They are the first half of the rodeo right now. We're not going to crown a champion of the round until tomorrow night. So these Cowboys right here, they've got to put some pressure on the Cowboys that go tomorrow night. So let's see it right now as we go down to Florida Cowboys, Josh Jumper. And on the healing side, an all around Cowboy in Dakota Lewis. Summer. Things might not have gone their way for the last two rounds, but they know they need one run to turn things around and get paid. Cowboy time. Josh Jumper, he's the quarterback, set it up. Oh boy. We uh -oh. are gonna pick up every single penalty that we can possibly get right here in the team open. 15 seconds added on, that is a 19 and 39 when it's all said and done. Oh, yeah. I'm going to change the luck right now, guys, because I got some stuff from my friends at Ropey Warrior. And if they catch, I'm giving away some Ropey Warrior shirts. There you go. To Let's bet on Leonard people. Williams Sr. and Steve Romo. Oh, the Arizona team going out with a no time. That, that shouldn't count, man. I wasn't, I wasn't watching. I wasn't ready. You guys should get a do-over, man. Oh, boy. I wasn't watching. I missed it. Did they catch? They caught? All right. There you go. Are you, wait, you're lying? Let's go to the Grove on Cowboy on the bones. Four-time world champion on the bones, Ed Holly. 
Young Gunslinger Trey Nez on the heels. We draw that hard runner, big shot. Oh, we pick up that inside. That is gonna be a five second penalty added on, nine and 97 including. Let's go to your team now, Reno Stobner, Bastrop, Texas, Jim Cole of Harlem, Montana. Here's a fun team we get to watch. Reno finished out fourth in the Econa Group INFR Tour standings when the season was all said and done. Jim Cole, a two-time champion of the world, backing in behind him. Montana Pro Rodeo Hall of Famer, that Jim Cole right on the heel side. There you see Reno in the black. The Hail Mary not going to connect. No time. You can't blame them. You can't blame them at all right there. They got to go for it. It's Ryan money, and Scooter Garcia. Money or mud kind of night, Daryl, is all I was going to say. That it is. Sometimes it's gravel, sometimes it's gold. Ryan Garcia. Scooter Garcia. The Navajo Nation sent us two Garcia boys here on a Thursday. Oh no. We cast it out all 32 feet of that head loop. No time. So with that, we ride in with Marlon Manson right now. Page Arizona on the head side. Leo Ramon of Elko, Nevada on the heels. Don't forget tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., the walk with the dock up on top of the stairs with the escalators outside. That's where you see those beautiful trailers that we award to our all-around world champions. 9 a.m., we've got the Miss Indian Rodeo traditional presentations happening out in the pool area. And at 9.30 in the Grand View, we've got the fashion show. As we say thank you to Batani Boutique, they've got a booth up on the concourse selling tickets for the fashion show tomorrow morning. Leo Ramon, give us two. We'll take one. Time going to be a 12.80. Let's bring that energy up right now, South Point. I'm trying. We started the night bringing up our family members to the front stage, laying that legacy out right here. Here's a family duo right here, a father and son. Delvin Euro and his 13-year-old son on the heel side, Kale Euro. From the big sky country of the 406. They came on down to Las Vegas to the last chance qualifier. They got things done. They came up in that second qualification position. Dad's gonna head left. Come on, Kale. Big shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's not let that father and son leave to the sound of an empty arena. You are the greatest right here, South Point.
Let's go to work with Coleman Proctor and Griffin Passmore. Oklahoma team riding in right now. Pryor on the head side, Rose on the heels. That man right there you see on screen, Coleman Proctor, is an eight-time national finals qualifier. We've seen him win big rodeos all over the country like the American. He's an all-around champion of the Cheyenne Frontier Days. He's after a run tonight with Griffin. No penalties, their time gonna be a 5.11. Right there, Cowboys, Coleman Proctor. Griffin Passmore will go to the number two in the round. That 480 right now is still on top. We've got a couple of Cowboys that can change things up. From the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa, Colton Kaplan on the bones. From the Absalaga Nation, Rope Three Irons on the heels. Yeah, handles fast in the corner. Cowboys. That right there will put you third in a round with a five and three, seven. I love the Absalga flag flying right behind us for that team as we go down south right now to the land of enchantment. Nolan Ryan Burnside and Wacy Carviso right in looking for the new lead time. They were a 5 and 75 the first day in no time yesterday. Burnside on the head and Carviso on the heels. Boom, boom, boom. Time in, going to be six seconds flat tonight for the Navajo Cowboys. Well, that's a wrap on our team roping as you watch Wacy Carviso on the corner right here. Getting it done in Las Vegas. Top four times in the round. James Arviso, Sean Murphy Jr. number one with a 4.80. Coleman Proctor, Griffin Passmore at a 5.11. Colton Keplin and rope three irons. 5.37, Nolan Ryan Burnside and Wacy Carviso. Six second flat. Wade Cauliflower, got our number one team standing by. Hey, I'm standing here with our number one team. I was talking to James just before the performance started. He's smiling because I asked him, I said, how's your day going? He said, not so good. So why not? I haven't done good in my good event yet. Well, he's sitting number two in the average in the tie down rope. And this run right here just made that all around race a little bit more interesting. James, what, what was that run like? You, got, you set up a good one for your healer there. Man, I haven't. First one I caught all week. It feels like I haven't caught in months. Finally, good feeling though. You got a good header. It sets up a good run for you. What's it like healing behind a guy like this? It's, it's awesome because he told me we had a good steer today, so I just had to be ready. And I knew he was going to turn it. He ain't going to miss three in a row, so I had to be ready. Yeah, we're looking at a really good run. That should hold up. Four eight. This is a tough pen, but you guys put it together. Great run. We'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow night. We'll see you back after this commercial break. If you're watching on PBR Ride Pass on Pluto, we'll be back in Las Vegas. We are back in Las Vegas at the South Point, the Indian National Finals Rodeo. J.J. Harrison having so much fun with us in the arena as we go now to the ladies in the barrel racing. Sierra Farland coming in hot. Arizona Cowgirl grew up in the junior ranks of INFR Vegas. Let's send her home. Time going to be a 15, 4, 5, 9. 
This is getting set to be one of the tougher rounds right now already. As we go now to Lup, Arizona, Julia Benelli Begay coming in hot, South Point. Looking good on two. We're running out the money now. 16 and one, Ot four. 16 and one, Ot four. We go to Calgary, John's Motlow right now. Okeechobee, Florida. There we go, looking good on two turns tonight. Number three on the way. And our time gonna be a 16.536 tonight. As we get set now, one of the legends of the sport. 10 time qualifier. In 2016, she rode into town and she rode out of town with a gold buckle. Sally Williams turning one, let's go. We have a clean run, South Point, let's hear it. 15, six and aught seven for Sally Williams. Let's go to Bailey O'Leary right now. We got to see this young lady in the junior barrels this afternoon. Round one of the junior senior. Oh. And a heartbreak on barrel number two and three. 25, 296. Just yesterday, our cowgirl came in on into the South Point. She rode out the go round winner. We go to Spanish Fork, Utah. She was the fastest time in the entire rodeo with a 15 and 159. As she gets set to go, South Point, let her hear you. I like it. That right there is now the second fastest time on the rodeo. 15 and two, six, two. She skyrockets to the lead in the third go round as we ride in with JC Hawk right now. Scottsdale, Arizona, cowgirl rounding barrel number two on her way to number three, South Point. Give her some gas. Time gonna be a 15, 9, 24. We head on up to the land of the big sky. Former all around world champion gets set to go on a horse they call Keep Siegel. He's an all-around horse. They head on this horse. They break away on this horse. He's ready to run a barrel pattern right now. Cloverleaf time, let's get it. Oh no. All the way, no. Just a tough outing right there for Brittany Bird. And keep Siegel. That is a 27 in 042. 
There is your leaderboard right now. J.C. Hawk in fourth, 15 and 9 to 4. Sally Williams with that 15 and 607. Sierra Farland, 15 and 5, 4, 4 5, 9. And the young gal that trained her own horse in a number one spot, Timbercoat with that 15 and 262. And at 9.30, the fashion show. They've got tickets on sale now. It's 9.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Visit the Batani Boutique book booth up on the concourse. Let's go to Tara Seaton right now. Eight-time qualifier. She's punched her ticket to the Turquoise Circuit Finals of Pro Rodeo. Send her home. And the time gonna be a smoking 15-206. We jump to the lead. We'll head on up north of the 49th. As you see it right there, that lead change. Chinookee First Nation cowgirl getting set. Teresa LaBelle riding her beautiful horse they call Jock. Coming down, cool, calm, and collected. Now it's time to turn and burn. Let's get it. Oh, no. Let's go, go, go. That is going to be a 21 and 342, including 21 and 342 for Teresa. We go to Kiana Davis right now of Loring, Montana. Little Shell Chippewa Cowgirl. We're on our ninth qualification. Yeah, come on. Center, oh! And a five second penalty gonna take us to a 20.660. 20 20.660. 20 Another family legacy right here. And a young former all around champion. 2016, she was an all-around world champion. Sammy Joe Bird coming down with Rama, her beautiful horse, looking good. Oh no! All the way out, South Point. Let her hear you. That is going to be at 21 and 287. 21 and 287 for Sammy Joe Bird. We go to Tatum Ward right now. Here's a former champion of the world of the Indian National Finals Rodeo. We watched her get it done in this arena in 2021. White Horse South Dakota Cowgirl is coming in hot. Oh, and a five second penalty. And a five second penalty to a twenty four four eighty two. Led to the Cherokee Nation twelve time qualifier. Vanita, Oklahoma's own Jennifer Turner. She's also competing right here with her husband, Justin, and all of the Inman family are her relatives as well. Family affair, let's get it. Go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, South Point, send her on home. 
That is going to be a 21 flat right there, 21 and triple aught for Jennifer Turner. With that, we go right now to Brindley May Holion. Brindley, let's go fast. Warm Springs, Oregon cowgirl. The next generation of the great Holion family in rodeo. Wow. And the time gonna be a 16 double lot two. Sixteen zero zero two. There you take a look at the leaderboard in the round so far. Sally Williams at a fifteen six zero seven. Sierra Farland fifteen four five nine. Timber Colt with a fifteen two sixty two. And Tara Seaton on top of the board fifteen two zero six. As a matter of fact, Wade Cauliflower is standing by with Tara. Megan's got Tara, all right. Hey, everybody. Um, Tara obviously just is winning the round right now. She's probably taking care of her horse, but that's okay. I would just really like to highlight that that run right there just really s helped her set up her um, spot for the all-around title in the cowgirl. So she's got a rope tomor tomorrow night, and winning the round tonight, she's setting herself up to co go home with the world championship. All right, there you go. Thank you, Megan Lunick. Those of you watching on PBR Ride Pass channel on Pluto, we'll be back with more of the Indian National Finals Rodeo here live in Las Vegas. Let's do it with the two-time champion of the world, Slick Phelps. Porcupine South Dakota bull rider is climbing aboard a bird bucking bull tonight by the name of Jet Black. That yeah. a two-time champion of the world takes before nodding his head against a premier bovine athlete. All right. He's punched everything. He's slapped himself enough. I think we're ready. Slick, time to pump it up. Gonna be a no score. Hmm. Here's a guy who did not get a qualified ride. Here's a guy. <laughs> Here's a guy, if he'd have rode for eight seconds, would have got a score. I love it. I miss that. We need more Captain Obvious stuff. Here's a guy that if he doesn't get out of the barrel, is going to get run over. <laughs> <laughs> Old Jet Black, give him a little bit of medicine right there. No score for Slick hey, Phelps. Let's head on over to Halliday, North Dakota. How Bucking Bull's own Wild Side. 
The cowboy Tell Jacobs. Task at hand. Stay aboard for eight seconds. Set the bar high. But you know what, South Point? The louder you cheer, the higher they buck, and you know what? The higher the score. So let's hear it right now for Tell Jacobs. And Wild Side. Shoot number five, come on, Tell. Oh boy, he's up under his own power. <laughs> Took a little kiss from that boo. No I score. I think Riley took the brunt of it, but did you see the, watch the bull's back legs, just tap him on the head, right? Next one, right here, and click, oh, you missed it. Oh. It just barely tapped his head like, you should probably be a tie down roper. Like just. <laughs> <laughs> you got a beautiful view right front and center there. Shoot number six brings us your next match up tonight as we go to the Navajo Nation for Tyson Sinigini. Tuba City, Arizona bull rider is getting on a bull from the Laughter family on the Navajo Nation and Laughter Bucking Bulls that they call What a Chicken. What? The bull's name is What a Chicken. You got to be kidding me. Not at all. What a chicken. A Come on out here. A Navajo Nation matchup. I think the bull rider lives about 20 miles away from the bull. They've never met before. They match up in Las Vegas. Well, I've been calling this guy, what a rider. Oh yeah. Come on, Tyson. Oh. Got a ride for eight, it says 6.64, it's a no score. That was gonna be good, that was gonna be good. What and a chicken, what a bucker, oh man. Came out, flat out, got it on, no score, but you know what, we'll keep it trucking. Right now, the Bulls are pitching that no-no. That shutout is in full effect. Next cowboy that has a chance at the money on the round is from the White Mountain Apache Tribe a White River, Arizona. Cody Russ is the name of the cowboy. Partnered up today, his dance partner's Mountain Dew of Rockin' YB Buckin' Bulls. North Dakota Bucket Bull, Arizona Cowboy. This is a story of the West right here. Cody Rustin. Come on, Cowboy. Hustle. Yeah. Oh, man. Man, that bull looks a lot like a gerbil with a man bun. <laughs> you go back up and look at the replay. Look at him, man. I guarantee you that bull was born in Portland. Look at that thing. It probably <laughs> smells like B.O. Oh, Lives boy. under a bridge in a blue tarp house. <laughs> I bet he's a kidding. Ducks fan as well. I'm just kidding. Anybody from Portland, Oregon here? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of people give Portland grief. That's the most friendly city in America, okay? Any other city you go to is going to charge you to camp. Not Portland. You just go anywhere you want. <laughs> Thank you. 
Movie Doom Bob Buddha do Yippee Kaye Yippee Kaye Sorry, that was me. <laughs> My bad. I got caught up in the moment, man. Dean's throwing that. But your red side was coming out, starting to sing this one. <laughs> Let's go to Taj Wells right now. Browning, Montana bull rider on a bull called Dinglebird from Rockin' YB Bucket Bulls. Taj Wells is a young talent that we have seen bound and determined to make a big splash in the INFR. By qualifying here, he has put his name on record two-time world champion of the junior ranks. Oh! And JJ with the assist in the hat. Oh, heads up. Out of boy, Jake. Way to jump up and let Troy just fend for himself over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go now to shoot number one. To the Arizona State. Arizona, are you still here with us? We've got a rookie qualifier right here, Arizona. Do we have any Corwin Kinlachini fans here? He's partnered up today with Coach K of 4B Bucking Bulls. We'll see what we can get done right here. Come on, Corwin. Oh, man. Coach K, Coach K, bringing a cowboy down early. That is a no score for the rookie competitor. Let's not let him leave the sounds of an empty arena. How about it for a rookie qualifier? Let's encourage him on back. Let's go to Norman Osceola right now. Okeechobee, Florida bull rider. And a bull they call my mama's crazy from Howl Bucking Bulls. <laughs> I know a lot of people went me too. Bucking Bulls was on stage with us for winning the round in round number one. Let's see if we can get back tomorrow night with a five-time qualifier of the INFR. There you go, Big Dean. around we go come on Norman making the moves we need to make all the way to the eight second mark tonight Vegas your first qualified bull ride how about it for the Seminole Cowboy you watch right here starting things off bull changes it up he's not used to having a rider this long Norman gets comfy. 
goes to work, goes to town to finish strong. The score in, how about 81 points tonight? Let's go on down to Tuba City. How Bucket Bulls ran us a good one in. How's Bell? Shoot number five, Darren Dugai. How's Bell? Come on, cowboy. I don't know. Cooper Tire Bullfighters go right to work. You look back up at that replay. Our Cowboy Lifesavers are all over this bull right quick and in a hurry. One more time. How about it right now for our Cooper Tire Bullfighters? Shoot number three is bringing us a great matchup here tonight. Chance Thomas from Window Rock, Arizona. His dance partner tonight is Thunder Road from Bird Bucking Bulls. Chance Thomas is a former junior bull riding champion of the world. Come on. And pops out, come down early at a no score. How about it for your Cooper Tires Bullfighters one more time? Getting in there to keep our boys safe. There you see his hand pop out. He's gonna hit the arena floor. Bullfighters on the spot. Nigel Harvey picking him off. Chance gets away safely. Great work, guys. Okay, man, it's that lucky time of the night. Some lucky fan gets to come down and get in the barrel. <laughs> you, sir, you're a winner. Come on down. What's our insurance look like on that? We good there or no? No? Never mind. It was really close. You look up at the big screen right now. You see the cowboy in the blue shirt. He is a three-time Indian National Finals bull riding champion. He's of the Northern Cheyenne, the Blackfeet in the Cree Nation. Earlier this year, the Northern Cheyenne inaugurated the cowboy on in to the Chief Society. Dakota Lewis. Getting set to go with Ricardo Bucking Bulls, Romeo. South Point, when we crack this gate, let's show the world champion a little bit more energy as we ease up on the road. Come on, South Point. Man, oh man. Part of the Team Wolves. Former gambler. But you know what, South Point? How about an 83 point ride for the Cowboy? There you see that trademark smile as he goes to the top of the board in Las Vegas tonight. We're not done yet. Two qualified rides on the board so far as we go to shoot number one right now. Let's ride with Kevin Wallace. He's on a bull from M5 Livestock they call Ghost Rider. 
Mount Curry, British Columbia brings us this great talent that we have seen. And Ghost Rider sets down our two-time junior qualifier early. It's going to be a no score. And then there was one. South Point, we've got one more bull rider to buck out tonight. But we need to bring that energy level up. Let's set the pace right here. We are going to go now down to an Arizona Cowboy. He's been here six times in the Indian National Finals of the Navajo Nation, O'Day Tom, with three Mile Creeks Bulls shot in the dark. We're going to ease up on that rope. South Point. I want to shake him up. Chill him to the bone, chill him to the core. We need your help from the greatest cheer section. Come on now. Hustle. From the time he was eligible to compete in the juniors, he's been coming to Las Vegas. He showed you what the junior program can produce with Ode Tom's ride tonight. The score in gonna be 75. That right there was our final bull rider out. As we're gonna go now down on the ground, look up at the leaderboard. 83 points is in the lead. And that cowboy is standing by with none other than Mr. Wade Cauliflower. We've been waiting a couple rounds to watch Dakota get tapped on one and he did 83 points. What did it feel like to finally get one covered, Dakota? Well, anytime you get to, get to the whistle, it feels good to ride in front of these great fans, have my little boy. My fiance, my daughter out here, you know, this rodeo is a big family thing and I'm just super thankful for each blessing. It is that breakaway run, probably got your, uh, your groove back in line a little bit earlier. She put together a good run, you got a good ride. It's gonna be a good, you're gonna make it Saturday night with that ride right there. Man, she set the tempo and I had to keep it going. All right, congratulations. We'll see you again later on this week. Thank you. There it is, your round in the bull riding as we close out the third go round on behalf of the entire crew here at the Indian National Finals Rodeo. Daryl Wright, Ryan Davis, Ray Champ, Dean Holion, JJ Harrison. My name is Kyle Tom, closing it out. Megan, we, it was a good first half of round number three. We've seen some really good runs. We've seen a lot of things tape shape in the women's all around. It looks like Tara Seaton all but slammed the door on him. We still got to wait out one more round and we'll see for, for sure if she's got her first all around and her first world title cinched up. Other than that though, we've seen some good bareback riding. We've seen a great setup for tomorrow night. It looks like Dakota's gonna get in there with that short going bull, you know, in the bronc riding. We bucked off a lot of them guys, but that world title race starts tomorrow night at 6.45. You know, and one thing that's really great about this round is yeah, you, as a competitor, you as a competitor, you don't necessarily want to be in this round, but this is where you lay it all on the line. This is where it's one of the funnest rounds to watch because everyone's just, they're not holding back, they're going for the gold.
in the gold buckle for the round. <laughs> and you know, you've been in this situation where you've had to wait till Friday night to make this next run to get you into the Saturday championship round. What's it like taking a night off on a Thursday and then coming and regroup? What's the game plan for these guys coming into this Friday night position? You know, as a breakaway roper, if you can come out like Michaela Tatsy did tonight and set the pace, and she's already got one caught, now everyone has to come for her, and she gets to relax tomorrow and hopefully come back Saturday night. You know, in our men's all-around race, Bo Tyler Vasu had a big day today. He's got, he put himself in good contention, and we've seen Hayo Yazi and Rooster Yazi make their move as well. That all-around in the men's race won't be decided until Saturday night after the bull riding is complete. So that's a good race we have shaping up right there. Yeah, it's really exciting. You have Bo Tyler, who's on the rough stock end. You have Rooster Yazi and Quinn Inman, who's on the time divin end. So it's not over until Saturday night for the men's all-around, for sure. Yeah, we haven't talked about Quentin Inman yet. He's still got a steer wrestling run, tie-down run. He's sitting really good in the tie-down roping right now. So to, tomorrow night's gonna, we'll have a good picture for that Saturday championship round. But tomorrow, we're gonna go round two with our junior seniors. We got the junior seniors second round. We've seen a big day of them today. You know, at 12.45 tomorrow, we're gonna get started again with that second round. What did you see out of the junior seniors earlier today? Uh, the junior senior runs were pretty fun today. There was a lot, a lot of great runs, and they weren't holding back. They're, like I said, they're the future and the foundation of Indian Rodeo. So it was good watching. So tune in to Ride Pass tomorrow at 12.45 p.m. to watch the junior senior second round. Yeah, that second round will be big. And then we're going to go Saturday. Saturday morning, we'll do the championship round. We got a great event lined up for that Saturday morning position, too. We have rookie bareback, rookie saddle bronc. Ina Farr is doing a big big deal to try to push before we can get more rough stock guys we want more bareback we want more saddle bronc that'll be big that'll be on saturday but tomorrow we're gonna get started at 12 45 and then 6 45 in the evening we'll wrap up round three it should be a good show we're looking forward to it we'll see you guys tomorrow good night everybody